I believe that uh, successful entrepreneurship and innovation is largely about curiosity and about learning. And the people who are the most successful innovators and entrepreneurs are obsessed with uh, learning and always discovering new things. And so to be an explorer and to always be asking questions and observing and looking around and studying people is really key. And so I'm an entrepreneur and an explorer. And then uh, the other two things, a learner and a teacher, and you can't be one without the other. You know, great professors are doing research, right? They're learning. And uh, in, in order, as, and when you teach, you learn. I mean, I learn as much from my students, as, so it's not a one directional thing. I think the main thing that I want to try to talk about will be about curiosity. Um, I'll talk some about design. This is a city that's very focused on design, which I think is very important. And just go through some of the basic uh, uh, beliefs, things I think are important, and things maybe that people don't always realize or don't talk about. We, uh, we tend to be um, obsessed with technology, and technology really doesn't matter unless it helps somebody. Because there have been a lot of companies that have had technology and they're broke and gone. I study the greats, uh, you know, um, because all of the great entrepreneurs were intense learners. Now, in fact, they didn't go to school in many cases. I mean, I mean uh, uh, had some school, but you know, Steve Jobs didn't go to college. You know, didn't finish. And Bill Gates and Michael Dell, you know, and I believe in college. Um, but they were, in many cases, too busy learning to go to school. And so learning is more than just school. It's, it's getting out, it's, it's looking, it's observing, it's reading. So, you know, I just never stop learning and writing down ideas because the ideas never come from where you expect to find them. If, if you just listen to the professors or just do what the pap newspapers say or what the textbooks say, you're never going to innovate. Uh, innovators have to be mavericks to some degree, uh, almost rebels. They, they have to be independent thinkers. I think it probably varies in different countries and different approaches. I certainly believe uh, what we do, Austin, Texas is very entrepreneurial. Thousands of startups and everything. And there a big part of it is that the older entrepreneurs and the ones who've already done it, like me, spend an awful lot of time with the young entrepreneurs. And so there's a lot of mentoring and hand-holding and uh, we, we invest a huge amount of energy in helping along tomorrow's entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur, uh, an innovator is an innovator no matter what field they're in. So even if you're in high tech, you can learn from someone who owns restaurants or hotels, you know, or is in transportation. Entrepreneurs, they think differently from corporation you know, or bureaucrats, you know. So they need to hang out with each other and spend time with each other no matter what type of enterprise. And I, in the United States, I don't care if it's a huge one or a small one. Bill Gates did not start out big. Steve Jobs did not start out big. Entrepreneurs hanging out with entrepreneurs, uh, finding uh, lawyers and accountants who understand entrepreneurs. In some places in the United States, the lawyers and accountants only know big companies and they don't know startups. And, and, uh, and, but in a place like Texas, they do. So building that up and to the extent that the, uh, the city, the universities can support all that, but uh, the, those are not gonna actually start things themselves. All they can do is give support because the entrepreneurship and the innovation have to come from the heart. The stronger your idea is, the less people will believe it the bolder it is, because uh, if it's really going to be a big idea that changes the world or your city or your country, people are going to say, you're crazy. If, if everyone says that's a great idea, it probably isn't, you know, once in a while, but probably isn't. <laughs>